Hey guys, so the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare trailer dropped earlier this week and now speculation has started and the hype train is well underway. On the one side you've got the naysayers who think that this will be the worst Call of Duty going. Some people saying there's going to be the Titanfall copy, that it's just copied every single aspect including double jumps, including the futuristic setting, everything like that. They're also saying that COD's kind of had its time and that it just won't live up to the expectations, that rose tinted view that people have of the earlier Call of Duties. On the other side you've got the people who are supporting and are really looking forward to it. Now I'm not talking about T Martin or Ali A as they will tend to love whatever Activision shove at them. You can actually hear the shit dripping from the nose. Who I'm actually talking about are people who do tend to like COD and are just looking forward to the different aspects of it. Some of them are looking forward to the movement aspects that the exosuits are giving you. They're also looking forward to the feel of the game and they're also looking forward to a slightly higher time to kill than Call of Duty Ghosts. Now my personal feelings on the game is that it's pretty good, there are some really good aspects. First reason for this is that really the game's got to be better than Ghosts, there's no way it can't be better than Ghosts. Now this isn't going to be a hate fest on Call of Duty Ghosts because Ghosts did have some good aspects. The first of that was the slide dynamic and I'm really happy that that's come back into Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Another thing is SNR. SNR was a really good game type actually and, and I have to say it was it was great. And it was also a tough time for Call of Duty Ghosts to come out. It was during a transition period from the now former consoles to the next gen consoles. So it's it's quite interesting that it came out at that bad time. My personal feelings are still good because of few things. Now colours are back finally. I really really can't stand Infinity Ward colour palettes in their game. So I'm really really happy that we've got a good colour palette back for Advanced Warfare. The score streak system is back as well. So hopefully we get more people who PTFO. I've seen the personal firing range has come up as well and I think that is really interesting and a really good idea for Sledgehammer to come up with so I'm really excited for that. We've also got a similar system to what Black Ops 2 implemented with the Pick 10 system and I'm excited to see some of the game types. Not super excited but just excited. There are some things that I want and the first of those is definitely for the game music volume to be adjustable. I can't stand the way I can't change that with Call of Duty Ghost. I do want free flow in action, I don't want it to be really awkward in the same way that Call of Duty Ghost is and I definitely don't want revenge kills. So finally the potential impact for Advanced Warfare on my channel isn't going to be that massive. I know I do war bangs, but we've always had campers in Call of Duty and it doesn't matter which one it is. I mean even look at Black Ops 2. That was one of the quicker Call of Duty games and yet we still had lots and lots of campers. So the hype train started. I'm sure we'll see lots and lots of videos from people regurgitating the same old shit again and again and again. I'm going to reserve my judgement for the moment, but hopefully we get a good game that we can play and enjoy. So let me know what you think of the multiplayer reveal and hopefully I'll catch you later guys.